this is probably the last GameStop video here on the channel. If you guys noticed, a couple weeks ago I uploaded a video showing you guys that my local GameStop has permanently closed. Yes, this is the GameStop where I had so many horrible experiences and I actually documented all those experiences here on this channel. I did it for a reason. I was hoping maybe the store would turn around, maybe like corporate would open up their eyes or something like that, do different business practices, but that sadly was not the case. So it truly is an end of an era. Now it's sad because I had a lot of great content with these GameStop videos. Um, believe it or not, a lot of people enjoyed these GameStop videos. I think a lot of people enjoyed watching me suffer, honestly. But the suffering has finally come to an end. So today in this video, I decided to put a little collage together showing you guys some of the highlights of my GameStop rant videos. Um, one more thing, you do know the Nintendo Switch does not come with like the wrist straps, those things that actually slide onto the Joy-Cons to make them feel a little bit more comfortable. So did you want me to go ahead and throw on a, a, a pair of those? Yeah, they, they come with wrist straps, buddy. Um, I saw Nintendo do an unboxing of it on, on the internet, and uh, they most definitely come with those wrist straps that slide on them to Joy-Cons. Nah, man, we were told, our, our manager made sure to tell us that, tell you guys that the Switch does not come packaged with those wrist straps. So as a safety precaution, we're actually asking you guys to go ahead and purchase like a, a pair of those, you know, to make you safe. And plus it makes the Joy-Cons feel a little bit better. Well, I know for a fact that they do come with the wrist straps. So no, I don't want to purchase the unnecessary wrist straps. Thank you. All right, man, that's fine. Um, you don't have to, I guess. Um, do you want me to go ahead and add that protection plan on the warranty? That way, you know, since you're an early adopter of the Nintendo Switch, you never know what might happen. So we are recommending people to go ahead and purchase um, that uh, warranty plan through us. No, nah, man, Nintendo already gives us a one-year warranty when we buy the Switch. I don't need to buy a protection uh, plan from you guys, so no, I do not want that. Yes, that's true. Nintendo does uh, give you a one-year warranty, but if you get it through us, you kind of cut out the middleman, so if something happens to your Switch, you can come straight to the store. We'll give you a new one or fix it, whatever the case may be, and you don't have to like send it to Nintendo and wait for like a couple weeks for Nintendo to actually send you, you know, a replacement. Dude, I would much rather deal with Nintendo than to deal with you guys. Please, can I just buy my Switch and my game and be on my way, please? All right, man. Well, do you plan on buying any other Nintendo Switch games like in the future? Of course, I'm going to buy more games in the future. This ain't going to be the only game I'm going to buy. Because we really recommend you to go ahead and pre-order everything to make sure you can actually guarantee yourself a copy. Because the Nintendo Switch is really hot right now. So any game you want, we highly recommend that you pre-order everything because you probably ain't going to get anything. Listen, dude, is your manager working right now? Because I just want to buy my Nintendo Switch, get my game, and be on my way. You're like harassing me right now. Please, I just want to go. Where's your manager? I want to speak to your manager right now. Did you uh, pre-order a meeting with the manager? Much at GameStop, but sometimes you have no choice and you have to go there if you want to pre-order something to make sure you actually get the game. And that's what happened in this case. Um, if you guys don't know, WWE 2K18 just got announced. It's actually available today. You can actually buy it today. And um, yesterday when I actually found out this news, I went up to GameStop and I went to go pre-order this game to make sure I can actually secure a copy on launch day. So I go into GameStop and I said, I would like to pre-order WWE 2K18. And they're like, great. And they're like typing in, you know, my information and stuff. And I said, okay, by me pre-ordering this, that means I'm guaranteed a copy tomorrow, correct? And they were like, tomorrow? What do you mean tomorrow? And I was like, well, the game releases tomorrow. That's why I'm pre-ordering it. So maybe I can, you know, I can get it tomorrow. They're like, sir, this game doesn't get released till... You know, it says the end of the month. There's a placeholder holder date because it's not even like there's no release date for it yet. So we're thinking maybe early next year. I said, sir, it gets released tomorrow. 2K themselves just announced it a couple days ago. It, it releases tomorrow. That's why I'm here to pre-order it. And he went on it like kind of like, I don't want to say he argued with me, but he was like, it's like we were debating back and forth. And I was like, you can go online and check it, sir. I'm like, it gets released tomorrow. So then he gets on his computer and he's trying to show me. He's like, look, sir, it says December 31st, and that's just a placeholder date. There's not even a release date yet for this game. So it's probably going to be sometime next year. I was like, am I in the Twilight Zone here? Like, am I, are we in the same store? Like, are we in the same universe? It gets released tomorrow. Like, like I was so so mad because like how can you be so clueless okay, like gamestop okay. listen when a customer comes into your store and you come up to them and say hey welcome to gamestop is there something i can help you find today and they tell you no thanks i'm gonna go ahead and just look around for a bit 
please, for the love of God, do not proceed to follow them and then start an argument with them. So I go in there just to look at the case to see the artwork because I, you know, I don't have it physical. And he's like, oh, Diablo 3, Diablo 3. Great choice, great choice. You want me to go ahead and pre-order that for you? It actually comes out this Saturday. And I said, no, no, I don't I don't need a pre-order. I already have the game. And he's like, no, no, sir, I'm talking about Diablo 3. You must be talking about a, a different game. I said, no, it's Diablo 3. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, but it's on the Nintendo Switch now. I said, I, I know, I, I have it already. It's impossible. It's not even out yet. I said, I, I know it's not out. I said, I have a review copy. I said, I'm, I'm actually in the middle of making a review right now. I'm just here to look at the artwork inside the case because I don't have a physical copy. I just wanted to see if I was missing anything, you know, you know, because let's be honest, guys, if you get a, a game physical now, there's not real much artwork inside. You really do kind of get ripped off. They're pretty much promoting you to download all your games now because you don't really get much. There's not even really much there for collecting purposes anymore. It's just a plastic shell, really, with the game inside. So it's, it's kind of disappointing. So we're in there and he's talking. He's like, yeah, he's like, uh, he's like, so you want me to pre-order that for you? And I'm like, no, buddy, I, I have the game. And he's like, I, I, he's like, you're, you're probably talking about Diablo, you know, because it is an older game. They just now moving into the Switch. That this guy for some reason could not comprehend that I had a review copy or something. And so I'm trying to be nice as I can. I'm just trying to, guys, I'm just in there. I'm just in there to look at the case, to look at the artwork. I just want to be left alone at this point. And I'm so nicely, you know, I, I, I replayed it in my head when I got home to see if I was, you know, maybe went too far with this guy. But I said, I wasn't, and that's why I'm making the video, just to show you, maybe someone from GameStop that works there, feel free to leave a comment below, let me know, why does this happen, are they just not trained, do they not get trained, I just want to know, do they not get trained, what is your training process at GameStop, Stop. and guys, like you ain't gonna believe it, <laughs> you ain't not gonna believe the story that I'm about to tell you, I didn't actually know they were still doing this, I know they used to do this years ago, I had no clue this was still a thing, they actually sell you guys used games at a full retail price. They actually, ever, look at this, it says brand new. Brand new, $39.99. This game is brand new. Brand new. And they put the sticker right on the case. So if you try to pick it off, it's probably going to leave a bunch of sticky, gooey mess all over, all over the case, which I hate, by the way, because... There's no plastic wrap. Now, if that was on, like, the actual plastic wrap, it'd be fine. But as you guys can see, I got this game brand new with no plastic seal over it at all. I, I was, I was like, about to lose control when the guy handed me the game. So I, and I said, hey, I'm the guy that wanted the Namco Museum arcade pack. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. He's like, let me go grab that for you. Grabs an empty case that's on the display shelf, grabs it off. He's like, yeah, let me get that for you, sir. Opens up a filing cabinet, thumbing through you guys. I'm sure if you guys ever shopped at GameStop or if you worked at GameStop, you know where I'm going with this. He starts thumbing through a, a, bunch, of, a bunch of folders, pulls out like a little plastic bag with the stupid cartridge, opens this up, puts it in there, and he's like, here you go, sir. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I, I thought you said you had a brand new game. I thought you told me you had a brand new game. He's like, it is brand new. Nobody's ever played this game before. I said, but there's no plastic wrap. You literally took an empty case off the shelf and, 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 and put the cartridge in there. How is that brand new? Brand new is it's sealed and it's got plastic wrap on it. He's like, well, sir, we can't display them on the shelf if they're, you know, without taking the game out. I'm like, so you literally get a brand new game, rip the plastic off of it, take your grubby hands, take the cartridge out, put it in a, in a filing cabinet just so you can display the case on the shelf. He's like, well, yes, yeah, sir. That's, that's just how we do things here. That is the most absurd thing I've ever heard in my entire life. When you break the guys, let me just fill you in. GameStop, let me fill you in. When you break the seal of a game, it's no longer new. Okay, as soon as you rip that plastic off, it's no longer new. You basically lost half the value. You guys know, as soon as you get a brand new game, you take off that plastic wrap, it's, it's, you lost half the value. So they're selling you a used game. And I know for a fact there's people, cause I, cause I was so mad. I talked to some of my buddies that actually worked at GameStop and they told me not only is this a used game, sometimes they allow the workers to take the game home and play it. So they have a little bit more knowledge of the game when they talk to the customer. Now I'm sure they probably didn't do it with this game cause it's a, a smaller game. It just got a bunch of old school games on it. So I probably do believe the guy, it probably is new. It's probably never been played. But that doesn't matter. 
as soon as that plastic wrap is is peeled off, you're done. Half the price is gone. It's a used game. This is a used game, GameStop. This isn't new. This is used. You took the wrapper off. I got news for you. Retail price on the game includes me peeling that wrap off and getting that nice smelling, you know, you know, electronic smell. You guys all know that smell. You rip the plastic off and you get hit with that nice scent like, mmm. Mm. You get that nice electric, you know, that new electric smell, you know, like, ooh, it's a brand new electronic. Guess what? The smell's not there. Somebody took the smell from me, all right? I paid for that. I paid for that. You know the whole experience when you, you know, you, you got to try to get, a, get a, a fingernail in there and try to get that plastic and then or peel it off and then you get hit with that? Yeah, you, you stole it from me, GameStop. You stole that from me. And you know what they do? I was so mad. It's like, so it's not sealed. He's like, oh, you know what? Let me seal that for you, bud. Let me seal you. So he takes a little circular clear sticker. Okay, let me see if you can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. There's like a circular sticker right here. I haven't really peeled it off yet, but he's like, here you go. Let me just seal it for you. And he puts a sticker on. I'm like, that's not sealing it. And you know what? He's like, sir, so d let's not argue about it. Do you just not want to buy this game? Thank you for calling GameStop, where we have the buy ticket one free on all pre-owned products. This is Michelle speaking. How may I help you? Hey, Michelle, I got a question. Okay. Um, I heard you guys could possibly be selling selling the company or something and going out of business. Is that true? or? Um, not that I've seen. Um, I actually haven't had any direct communication from our company. I know there's a lot of rumors out there, but I actually don't have any information. Yeah, because there's like it's like all over the internet. There's like a bunch of news articles and yeah. stuff. People hate and troll on us. Do you, so, do you think it might? Uh, as of right now, do you think? I actually can't comment on any of that. Believe it or not, um, all I can say is I know there's a lot of rumors and things going on, but unfortunately, I just don't have any information what's actually happening. Do you think it might have anything to do with the like the whole pre-order system, the way you guys try to pressure people to pre-order stuff all the time? I, I actually cannot. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't have answers. So. Hmm. All right. Is is it true that you guys have like a quota of pre-orders? Like like the the you know the workers there have to have like I, a quota. I'm sorry, I, I have to formally decline. I can't answer these questions. So. Okay, I was just curious because you know it's, every time I go to GameStop, it's it's a horrible experience anymore. So that's why I was just curious if maybe they were gonna you know redesign their uh, you know how they do things. Yeah, I, I honestly don't know. Like I said, we haven't received any communication on what's going on. Uh, we were told that there's a lot of rumors going around, um, but they haven't haven't said. You know what I mean? So I don't I don't have any information. <laughs> Hey guys, maybe you're on 20 back again. Standing behind me is what used to be GameStop in my local town. Yes, this is the infamous GameStop where I used to make so many videos talking about the horrible customer service and today they have closed their doors. Not because of me, again, it's because of horrible customer service. Um, they had very underperforming stores here at this location. Uh, it's thriving around here. We just had a five below open up right down the road. There's businesses actually thriving in this area. So it's not because it's the area. It's strictly because of how they handled business. If you guys remember, they actually sold me a video game with no game in the case. If you guys remember, they never ever have anything in stock. You have to pre-order every single thing. The customer service here has been downright awful. This does not surprise me at all. Now, I know there's probably some good GameStops out there. I get comments all the time saying, my local GameStops are great. And if that's the case, hopefully they keep being great so they can remain open. But as you can see behind me right here in my local town, when you have horrible customer service, this is what happens. GameStop has closed in my local town. I'm not happy about it, but I knew this was coming. There's other GameStops, towns the way. I think Madison might be the closest one from where I'm at right now. But yeah, unfortunately, you're going to have to drive about 30 to 40 minutes to actually get to the closest GameStop now. This was right down the road, but now it's closed. And if you can look at the awning here, it is like they have not taken good care of this at all. 
And as you can see, they got the gates, uh, you know, closed behind me. I wish we could look inside, but they have it all gated up, so you can't really see anything. Um, this was like just happened overnight. I had no clue it was closing. Usually, when stores close, they give away posters and they give away some of the racking and some of like the displays and stuff. That did not happen at this location. It's like just you woke up and it was gone. So I don't know if the employees had any warning that this was happening. Hopefully they did, because that'd be pretty crummy. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me at all if the employees just showed up for work and the, and the gates were closed like this and they closed this location. So yeah, guys, so let that be a lesson learned. Horrible customer service. The doors will close. You need your customers. We are what make the business happen. It's pretty much all for right now, guys. And as always, there'll be more to come shortly. Thanks again.